sure it was, so that I'd have to drop all my crazy ideas, right? No. Bronson could be lying. You guys are going to be sorry when you find out the truth. Make that strike three, buddy. Miss Cough to the front desk. Miss Cough to the front I see. desk. Yes. I'm looking for Fenton Hardy. Have you seen him? No. Uh, maybe the boys know. Frank, Joe, you boys know where your father is? Yeah, he was with you. Well, I haven't seen him for half an hour. He was supposed to open the second half of the seminar, and I can't find him. Had him paged, been to his room. Nobody's seen him. That's not like Dad. I can't even find Phil Bronson to go on. He's in his room. No, I paged him, called him, nothing. That's funny. He said he was going to lie down. I think I should go check on him. That's a good idea. Excuse me. There's something in Mr. Bronson's box. 1111? Oh, he asked me to pick it up for him. All right. This is rather strange. This wasn't here a little while ago when we came by and spoke to the desk clerk. Which clerk was that? Well, whoever was on duty. I couldn't read his nameplate. His? No. Miss Foster's been on duty all evening. Miss Foster? You've been here all evening, right? I did have to step away from the desk for a few minutes. Maybe the clerk's involved. Did Mr. Hardy leave a message with you? I haven't seen Mr. Hardy since uh, earlier this evening. Well, Arlo, it looks like we should have taken Nancy seriously. This guy is nuts. Wrecked. Wrecked? What are you talking about? About kidnapping, I'd say. Mr. Fox? Yes. This was left for you at the bell captain's desk. Thank you. Strange. Bell captain to the front desk. Bell captain to the front desk, please. Can I see that? This is Dad's ring. He never takes it off. It was a present from our mother. And this belongs to Arlo Weatherly. I gave it to him myself. That's a medallion Bronson was wearing 10 minutes ago. And the kidnapper could still be in the hotel. Not necessarily. You can go a long way in 10 minutes. What's the note say? Three of your detectives already gone. 500,000 will free them. Don't call the police. Details will follow. Don't call the police. Details will follow. Oh, I'd still think it was a practical joke if it weren't for these. Isn't that blood in the medallion? Yes, probably from the broken glass. The rain. That means the kidnappers do have your father. I would say that's correct in view of his disappearance. What are we going to do now? Call the police. I guess we have no other recourse. But the note said... No, Nancy's right. We have no choice. I'd like to leave these locked in your office until the police get here. Of course. You can call the police from there. I'm really sorry about your father. You're right all along, Nancy. That photograph you saw on stage 24. I'd like to take a look at it. OK. We worked together once. Let's do it again. Let's go. This is stage 24. What exactly did you see? It's the 
set of an old house. I went through a hallway into a dining room. There's a large photograph in there with all the guests in it. It's just like the house on Bracken Moor. And you think some of us are in that photograph? I think so. The photos of the detective convention, the dad and the others made them in. Listen, why don't you wait outside? We'll be out in just a little bit. I was the one who went in there alone while you two were up at the seminar because nothing was going on here except for the triviality of a practical joke. You're also the one who returned to the hotel soaking wet because you fell into the lake. I did not fall into the lake. I was dropped into the lake. Which proves that this whole thing could be very dangerous. Which proved to you that something dangerous was going on. Avoid World War III for just a moment so we can take a look around. Can't you guys keep a truce for more than 20 minutes? I'm just trying to look after her interests. Well, why don't you just look after yourself? I always find these sets kind of eerie. They're disturbing. I mean, they're real rooms, but there's no backing. There's no substance. Perfect homes for people only exist in your imagination. There. We keep popping up all over. Well, somebody knows all the details of the convention. Like what detectives would be here. They must want the kidnappings to look like the ones in the movie. If it all wasn't so bizarre, I'd be flattered to be included. Well, how would he leave this around for anybody to see? Well, no one should be in here on weekends. He must be trying to live out some sort of fantasy. Unless he wanted us to see it. Well, no matter how it's dressed up, it's still a simple case of kidnapping. It matters how it's dressed up. You said yourself, insanity, a psychotic mind? <laughs> the laughter I was telling you about. Look! Come on. Go back to the hotel and let Jason Fox know what's happening. You sending me out of danger again? I'm asking you to get some help. Oh. 